up guys? We're gonna be taking you behind the scenes. We're gonna be doing a dope fashion editorial. Today's inspiration is gonna be House of Mirrors. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while. I've been away for about a month or so. I've been super crazy trying to figure out what to do with my YouTube channel. Uh, and one of the things that I think I wanted to first do was create a series talking about in-studio photography. That's probably one of the topics where I get the most questions. Uh, especially when I talk to younger photographers, people starting out, there's always a lot of intimidation when it comes to working with artificial light. This came to be because a friend of mine reached out. She was gonna be coming over from Mexico, a model, uh, and she was she had a small window of time for us to shoot in. So this entire photo shoot was planned and put together in a matter of three to four days. Uh, it was a collaboration with multiple creators from the Philly area. Uh, we included a stylist, hairstylist, makeup artist, and the model. And when she reached out to me and gave me the days that she had available, I happened to be at an amusement park, having a walk by one of these things where they do Halloween stuff. And as we were discussing through text, what can we shoot? Uh, I just read the word mirror. So I was like, oh, why don't we do something in a hall of mirrors? And came up with that entire concept. This is something that I've seen done before, but I wanted to do it a little bit differently. We wanted it to be something that was gonna be very high fashion. Uh, we're gonna use multiple layers and many different patterns and combinations in order to execute it. First part for me with any shoot that I do, is dropping my ideas on paper. And I don't mean that literally, I normally do this digitally, whether I'm on my iPad, my phone, my computer, the, the first screen I have close to me, I just grab it and I start doing a quick mood board. Uh, and in this mood board, I do a few things. Number one, I start out by just laying out the general idea. I don't care about photos that look exactly like what I would like to do. I just dump as many things as possible on this page and then I edit it out into multiple sections. One of these sections is gonna be uh, overall feel for the set and lighting. Another one is gonna be feel for the type of posing and mood I would like the model to have based on what we're doing. And another section is gonna be for the wardrobe and then hair and makeup. The reason I break it down into all these separate categories in my mood board is because if I'm doing original ideas, I shouldn't be able to find an exact photo of what I want to go for. Uh, and oftentimes, I see that people will share mood boards with me, and it's two or three photos from one shoot, and they just want to recreate it. Uh, instead, what I like to do is just combine ideas from different places. Sometimes that may be, hey, I would like, I like the eyes in this makeup. I like the lips here. So I just put photos together and specify what I like about each of them. And this is what I then use to find a team and share it with everyone within the team so that we are all aligned. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle. Can somebody save me, save me, I'm losing every battle.
to equipment, for this shoe, the setup was fairly simple. I only utilized one light, and the main reason for that, since we had the reflective material throughout the entire set, the light was bouncing around all over the place, so there wasn't a need to have multiple lights. Camera-wise, I was using a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 24 to 70 lens. And for the most part, my settings were the same throughout the entire shoot. The only thing that changed every now and then was the position of the light and the power of the light based on how close it was to the model. The settings for this shoot on my camera was aperture 7.1, my shutter speed was at 1 60th of a second, and my ISO was at ISO 100, which is the lowest that I can go on my camera. Whenever I do shoot in studio, I tend to keep my ISO as low as possible, and once I lock the settings into my camera, most of the tweaks that I do happen on the light itself, no longer happening in the camera. The light that I use for this shoe was a Godox AD600 Pro, and I did use the remote to control it from the top of my camera. I really enjoy that because I have the flexibility of changing all of the lighting settings right from my camera without having to stop going and tweak it uh, as necessary, and so it doesn't get in the way of the shoe. In addition, I do shoot tether for the most part when I shoot in studio, uh, and I shoot into an old iMac that I've had probably come into a decade now, is just a tether station. I shoot directly into Capture One Pro, and the main reason why I enjoy shooting tether, especially when working with a team, is because this gives everyone visibility to what we are creating. And to me, that's an integral part of the shooting process, because for me, it's very easy to become laser focused into just looking through the viewfinder and miss some things. As you can see throughout the shoot, especially my stylist hops in and out of the frame often, because they will see something appear on the screen and say, you know what, we gotta fix this, this is crooked, we gotta fix this, we gotta pull the hair back, or whatever needs to get done. So this gives everyone access to what's happening, and we can all collaborate much easier. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle. No one ever sees me, sees me, I'm losing every battle. Can somebody save me, save me, I'm losing every battle. Hope this guys found this helpful. This photo shoot was a blast to shoot. We had a lot of fun. I got a chance to experiment a little bit with materials I hadn't done in the past. If you have any specific questions or any topics you would like me to cover regarding fashion photography, whether it's settings, lighting, uh, communicating with the team, putting a team together, how to plan a shoot, please drop it down below. Subscribe if you like this and hit that little bell button.